Yahusha, Joshua 17. There was also a lot for the tribe of Manasseh, for he was the firstborn of Yosef, to wit, for Makir, the firstborn of Manasseh, the father of Gilad, because he was a man of war. Therefore, he had Gilad and Bashan. There was also a lot for the rest of the children of Manasseh by their families, for the children of Avi Azer, and for the children of Shelech, and for the children of Ashri El, and for the children of Shechem, and for the children of Chefer, and for the children of Shemida. These were the male children of Menesheh, the son of Yosef, by their families. But Silophachad, the son of Chefer, the son of Gilad, the son of Makir, the son of Manasseh, had no sons but daughters, and these are the names of his daughters, Machla and Noah, Chogla, Milka, and Tirza. And they came near before Elazar, the priest, and before Yahusha, the son of Nun, and before the princes, saying, Yahuwah commanded Eth Moshe to give us an inheritance among our brethren. Therefore, according to the commandment of Yahuwah, he gave them an inheritance among the brethren of their father. And there fell ten portions to Manasseh, beside the land of Gilad and Bashan, which were on the other side of the Yardan. Because the daughters of Manasseh had an inheritance among his sons, and the rest of Manasseh's sons had the land of Gilad. And the coast of Manasseh was from Asher to Mikmethath, that lies before Shechem, and the border went along on the right hand unto the inhabitants of Ain, Tapuach. Now, Manasseh had the land of Tapuach, but Tapuach on the border of Manasseh belonged to the children of Ephraim. And the coast descended unto the river Chana, southward of the river. These cities of Ephraim are among the cities of Manasseh. The coast of Manasseh also was on the north side of the river, and the outgoings of it were at the sea. Southward it was Ephraim's, and northward it was Manasseh's, and the sea is his border. And they met together in Asher on the north, and in Yishakar on the east. And Manasseh had in Yishakar and in Asher Beit Sha'an, and her towns, and Yivalam, and her towns, and Eth, the inhabitants of Do'or, and her towns, and the inhabitants of Ayen Dor, and her towns, and the inhabitants of Tanaach, and her towns, and the inhabitants of Megiddo, and her towns, even three countries. Yet the children of Menasheh could not drive out the inhabitants of Eth, those cities, but the Kena'anim would dwell in that land. Yet it came to pass, when the children of Yashara'el were waxen strong, that they put Eth, the Kena'anim, to tribute, but did not utterly drive them out. And the children of Yosef spoke unto Eth Yahusha, saying, why have you given me but one lot and one portion to inherit, seeing I am a great people, for as much as Yahuwah has blessed me hitherto? And Yahusha answered them, If you be a great people, then get you up to the wood country and cut down for yourself there in the land of the Perazim and of the Raphaim, if Mount Ephraim be too narrow for you. And the children of Yosef said, 
the hill is not enough for us. And all the Kena'anim that dwell in the land of the valley have chariots of iron, both they who are of Beit Sha'an and her towns, and they who are of the valley of Yisrael. And Yahusha spoke unto the house of Yosef, even to Ephraim and to Menashehe, saying, You are a great people and have great power. You shall not have one lot only, but the mountain shall be yours, for it is a wood, and you shall cut it down, and the outgoings of it shall be yours, for you shall drive out eth the Kena'anim, though they have iron chariots, and though they be strong.